Um, uh, one of the questions that we always ask towards towards the end and to all our our, um, our people that come on is where do you see the future of apologetics, either when it comes to Old Testament or in seminary or just the greater Christian context? Can you speak explicitly on what you think may, may be the future of apologetics is? Well, again, I, I can tell you as far as uh, educational systems, and especially I'm thinking about Christian school, I think you will always have a very important role uh, to play. Again, as I said, we we have the class in undergrad, we have the class in the seminary, um, and it's very important. And we have to also, that has to trickle into the church as well. And uh, we always have to provide a defense for our faith. Uh, and that also always starts with knowing what the Bible says. And um, so I'm grateful for what you guys are doing. And uh, Keep keep doing it. Uh, I know. I'm sure there there's. A, uh, I'm sure that uh, there's spiritual warfare that uh, Satan would be happy for you not to do this this work. But you got to keep keep it going. And uh, uh, in spite of uh, opposition, uh, as I write in the Ezra and Nehemiah commentary, opposition is as a sign that you're doing something right. right. It's not a sign that you're doing something wrong. Great. Um, uh, because you're a professor, I, I don't mind asking you this question. Is there a, a, a couple of books or resources that you think um, might benefit uh, uh, people who want to look more into uh, the, the Old Testament, uh, other than your commentaries that, of course, I will leak? <laughs> well, um, yeah, definitely. So uh, Maybe what I can do is send you a list of my Old Testament commentaries. Uh, I have recommendations for each book of the Bible. Perfect. Um, but um, Genesis, if you're to read Genesis, you need Creation and Blessing by Alan Ross, for example. That is, a, is an amazing book for pastors and, and lay people who just want to dig deeper into the Old Testament. Alan Ross is great because he writes... Uh, he, 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 he studies deeply, but he writes uh, as all of us can understand. He's, he's not, um, he doesn't just uh, speak from the ivory tower. He understands what he's talking about. As far as uh, Old Testament books as a whole, um, again, in undergrad, I use just the basic encountering the Old Testament class. Uh, into encountering the Old Testament book, which is basically just an introduction to the Old Testament. Uh, but probably um, <clears throat> there are classic ones out there by uh, published by Moody uh, some time ago. And again, I can send you that information with uh, the, the recommended books I recommend for, for that. I mean, I would appreciate that. I don't know if my wife would appreciate that, and I might have to add some more bookshelves. But uh, yes, uh, I, I, I'm um, grateful for your work. I, I um, use your uh, studies um, in uh, my Logos uh, studies when, whenever I uh, pull those up. So unfortunately, I, I didn't get the physical copies uh, for you, but, uh, but uh, I, I make a lot of notes, so it's nice to, to reference them that way. I like Logos. I have Logos. I use it a lot in my sermon preparation. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, um, but I, I still like uh, physical copies. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I haven't quite made the switch over yet, but uh, uh, when I make more notes, it's it's nice to uh, to, to mark up a digital copy. Um, is, is there a, anything else that uh, you wish I would have asked you, uh, or uh, can you, um, um, if if not, can you uh, kind of uh, relay people on on where they can um, check you out uh, and um, maybe plug your your school if you'd like? Yeah, well. Um... Yeah, I'm, uh, so obviously I've been at Grace College and Theological Seminary uh, since 2005. It's uh, just grace.edu, you get there, and you again, we have undergrad programs, we have seminary uh, master programs. Actually, we even have a new program, uh, Deploy, which is basically competency-based education. So let's say, uh, Patrick, you're, uh, let's say you're on staff at Calvary and uh, you don't have a, a master's degree you can actually complete it from where you are. It's called competency-based education. And it's different than online because uh, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. So you can finish a competency, let's, let's say Old Testament, you can finish it in a, 
in a month rather than hey you have to wait for everybody to finish their class in three three months so it's it's designed for you and it's designed for someone who's already in ministry uh they get their ministry experience uh while they're going to school so there, there are many great things that are happening at grace um even with COVID, actually our numbers are looking really good for next year we are still a strong uh, evangelical school we believe the bible is without error uh, and we still teach that and we believe that uh, and we're unapologetic in, in doing so great well dr rada i greatly appreciate your time today i greatly appreciate you answering my questions and uh thank you for for coming to calvary every once in a while and preach it just means more homework for me afterwards when my wife has a bunch of questions and i say <laughs> let me get you his email because now i have it and uh, sometimes I think she st- stumps you with uh, with a few questions every now and then. So uh, I, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. And uh, thank you f- uh, for you and your wife's uh, uh, testimony in, in your marriage. Thanks, Patrick. And thanks for having me. Thank you. Perfect.